discussion on renal denervation for hypertension and simplicity HTN3 and spiral HTN of med trials. Renal denervation for hypertension initially thought to be a promising procedure went into disrepute after the publication of the Simplicity HTN3 trial. But the procedure has staged a potential comeback after this publication of Spiral HTN of Med trial. Simplicity HTN3 was a prospective, single-blind, randomized, sham controlled trial of patients with severe resistant hypertension. Patients were receiving a stable antihypertensive regimen of maximally tolerated doses of at least three antihypertensive medications including a diuretic. Primary efficacy endpoint was change in office blood pressure at six months. The study randomized 555 patients in a 2 is to 1 ratio to renal denervation or sham procedure. Patients were required to have a systolic blood pressure of 160 millimeters of mercury or more as an average of three measurements. Radio frequency energy was delivered using Simplicity Renal Denervation Catheter. Patients were unaware of whether it was a renal artery denervation or sham procedure. Blood pressure was assessed by persons unaware of the randomization. A composite of major adverse events was taken as the primary safety endpoint. The events were all-cause mortality, end-stage renal disease, an embolic event resulting in end-organ damage, renal artery or other vascular complications, hypertensive crisis within 30 days, or new renal artery stenosis of more than 70% within 6 months. The blinded Simplicity HTN3 trial did not show significant reduction of systolic blood pressure in patients with resistant hypertension after 6 months of renal artery denervation as compared to a sham control. There were no significant differences in safety between active treatment and sham control groups. The results of Simplicity HTN3 trial were in contradiction to that of unblinded Simplicity HTN2 trial. In the Simplicity HTN2 trial, those with immediate renal denervation had a mean fall of 31.7 mm of mercury at 6 months and 28.1 mm of mercury at 1 year. Those who crossed over to renal denervation from control group had a mean fall of 23.7 mm of mercury at 6 months after the procedure. Enrollment criteria for Simplicity HTN2 were similar to Simplicity HTN3 trial, but it was unblinded and had a lower number of patients of 106 only. Spiral HTN of MED was a proof of concept trial evaluating the effect of renal denervation on blood pressure in the absence of medications. It was a multi-center, international, single-blind, randomized, sham controlled trial. Office systolic blood pressure was between 150 to 180 millimeters of mercury, diastolic blood pressure 90 millimeters of mercury or more. 24-hour ambulatory systolic blood pressure was between 140 to 170 millimeters of mercury at screening. The patients underwent renal angiography and were assigned to renal denervation or sham control. Primary endpoint was change in 24-hour blood pressure at 3 months. Drug surveillance was done to ensure absence of antihypertensive medication. The trial had a total of 80 patients. A fall of 24-hour systolic blood pressure of 5.5 mm of mercury and diastolic blood pressure of 4.8 mm of mercury was documented in the renal denervation group compared to the sham control group. Corresponding values for office blood pressure was 10 mm of mercury and 5.3 mm of mercury. These results were statistically highly significant. Thus, the authors claim to have established the biological proof of principle for blood pressure lowering efficacy of renal denervation. Spiral HTN of med pivotal study randomized 331 hypertensive patients to either renal denervation or sham procedure. 
half his blood pressure was between 150 to 180 millimeters of mercury. 24 hour systolic blood pressure was lowered by 3.9 millimeters of mercury and half his systolic blood pressure by 6.5 millimeters of mercury. There was no device related or procedure related safety events up to 3 months. The authors concluded that Spiral Pivotal documented the superiority of catheter based renal denervation to safely lower blood pressure in the absence of antihypertensive medications. First set of journal references. Second set of journal references. Final reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.